Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from a four day training event. I want to show you this gorgeous tree that's outside my window at the hotel. It's keeping me company. And you know, I just want to talk to you about how to move forward to the next level in recovery. Have you ever had an event coming up and it made you get really fastidious about your recovery routines, whether that's meditation or pacing and saying no when you needed to so that you knew that you were gonna have the energy you needed? Well, that's kind of how this trip has been for me. You know, I've been looking forward to going to it for about a year and I actually didn't sign up till very recently to, to make sure that I was stabilized in recovery and ready for it. But having this set before me what that has done for me, and I've done this all throughout my recovery, as you've seen me traveling and doing things, I like to set things up in advance so I know that I need to get ready for it. And it, what that does is it really gives me motivation to do all my recovery strategies, like sticking with my you know, exercise routine, my walking, uh, eating well, getting my rests in daily, because I can't afford to be sloppy right? So it gives me something to shoot for and uh, kind of on a short-term basis, right? This conference I'm at, it's a, it's a 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. intensive training and I'm really having a ball and I'm feeling good. I'm here and like I'll give myself like a couple of mornings I've gotten there an hour late and that's okay. You know, you have to do what you need to do. But the idea of having something in front of you is so powerful. So um, I just want to encourage you, you know, it's kind of like an Olympic champion. When you see an Olympic out on the track and they're racing in that for the gold, you're not seeing all the preparation and the training that they put into that one event. What you're seeing is the glory. You're seeing the the outcome of all that they've done. And that's really how recovery is. Uh, you have to put in all the work behind the scenes for you to get the goal, to get out and do those things that you love. You know, I had a friend on a forum once who said, do recovery like you're training for the gold. And I love that. I took his quote, I put it up on my bathroom wall, whether that means resting, meditating, doing what you need to do to progress your recovery. And what this has helped me do is move to the next level. Every time I've had something out in front of me, you know, I have to be very, um, adamant about my boundaries around my recovery. I have to be sure to be resting and sticking with my baseline and bouncing the boundaries so I keep moving forward in order to make it to that event or to make it to what I want to do. Now again, this is not about pushing. This is not about forcing yourself to do things. So I just want to encourage you, wherever you are in recovery, move to the next level. So first, what you want to do is figure out what that next level is. If you're bed bound and house bound, it might just mean sitting up in bed a few minutes a day, or it might mean getting out for that one minute walk and working towards that, okay? And so that everything in your life for that period of time is focused on getting to that particular goal. And so the way you want to do this is pick something that will really light your fire, not something that's just going to be like, oh, I want to be able to get to the grocery store. You know? <laughs> it's like, do, th you know, do things like maybe a park nearby that you want to get to so you can be out in nature, something that will make your heart sing. You know, early on in my journey, for me, it was windsurfing. And so that gave me an ambition and an entire year to work up slowly from being bed bound to doing my three minute walk, working up to a 10 minute walk, to where I was actually able to get back on a windsurfing board and my, I was resting all around it, but I actually got on the board. And what it had done was provided the motivation that I needed to stick to my recovery because recovery work is really hard work. And we all know that. It'd be so much easier just to say, you know what, I can't do it. CFS is too hard. It's too debilitating. I am too much of a victim. You know, it'd be too easy to fall into that. And there were many years where I was in that victim mode. But once we realize, you know what, I am the captain of the ship. This CFS is not going to defeat me. That's why we're warriors, right? It's really hard work. So give yourself something to move towards, something to reach for. And again, 
not pushing, but gently because it means you've got to take your rest. It means you've got to get your movement in. It means you've got to be eating well. It's going to require of you absolute dedication and commitment to your recovery. So if you don't have anything on the horizon, what's the motivation to do all those challenging things that you have to do? So I just want to encourage you, move to the next level in your recovery. Set something up that will help you reach forward, not in a way of pushing, not in a way that's bullying yourself, but something that will make your heart sing, that will cause you to be committed to the recovery path, committed to doing all those things, all those practices that support you in recovering and getting your life back. So again, it's like training for the gold and the gold is your life and that's what you're gonna get back. So Warriors, I just wanted to say hello and uh, just remind you as always that life is not over, it's starting again.